O Lord, set our hearts on fire for you. A lot of churches today now have more members but less Christians. More buildings but less relevance. More stories, less revelation. More of mechanisms, less of the supernatural. More administration but less prayer. More summons but less power. More flesh, less spirit. The world has now more churches but less impact. Lord, set our hearts on fire. We put in so much for adverts and publicity, but little or nothing for the fire. Church, don't you realize that if our greatest church growth strategy is billboards and flyers, then we are not any less lost than sinners wandering in a vast world of gloom. The apostles of old had not a need for billboards and flyers. All that was expedient was the fire of the Holy Ghost burning in their hearts. That was their attraction point, not billboards, not flyers, not radio jingles, not eloquence of speech, not a degree in theology or masters in management and psychology. It was the fire of God. And the Bible records that 3,000 souls were converted to Christ on that very spot. Church, we are losing the fire. We are substituting the fire with packaging and branding. Can I remind you the first logo of the church was the fire of the Holy Ghost. We can afford to engage in rebranding now. No, no, let's not replace it for anything else. The billboards are needful, but without the fire, it's just an auto flex material flooded with colors and text. The flyers are necessary, but if they are not an extension of the fire burning on the altar of the church, then it's just another piece of colorful paper worthy of the trash can. You can attract men with publicity materials, but you can keep them with those. It's the fire that keeps men, and more so, I've lived on this terrestrial ball long enough to understand that nothing is more attractive and compelling than burning flames. And John Wesley would say, I have realized that men love to see fire burn, so I set myself on fire and watch the world come to see me burn. Isn't it a shame that men will walk into the church drunkards and would walk out the door drunkards? Isn't it a shame that people will walk into the church fornicators and walk out the door fornicators? Isn't it a shame that people will stroll into the church sinners and would leave sinners? It's even more shameful that Christians would stay in church comfortably practicing all manner of ungodliness and wickedness. The church is full of Christians who are backbiters, backstabbers, haters, covetous, carnal, proud, boasters, murderers, and what have you. They come to church day in, day out, week after week, year after year, practicing all wicked devices, and there is not a transformation, not a smiting of the spirit, not an urge for repentance, because there is no fire to convict them of sin, burn away every strand of ungodliness, and compel them to the altar of salvation. Witches and occultists now come into our churches. Sit comfortably and mingle with us. Join us to sing hallelujah. Lift up their hands in deceitful worship and even raise their strange voices in prayer and are not exposed. The rest are then set free by the power of the Holy Ghost because there is no fire. We make a mockery and ridicule of the God we claim to worship. I thought we'd say our God is a consuming fire or has he stopped burning? Help us, O oh Lord. Some of us Christians, we are like, Lord, you can dwell in me, but let not your holy fire burn in me. I love my life just the way it is. Do not alter my routine. Do not change my ways. Don't set me free from sinful tendencies. Don't go near my addictions. Don't even try to influence my dispositions and decisions. Lord, you can stay, but be quiet. Oh, no, 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 Lord, you deserve more. God, bring us to our knees that we may see how wrecked and wretched we are without your indwelling. Church, enough of the religion, enough of the jamboree. We need real fire. There are souls to be won, extents to be reached. There's so much to be done. We just can't afford to do business as usual. We can't continue in coldness and lukewarmness anymore. We are in a crucial time in history where prophecies are fulfilling and God is counting on us. We need the fire. The dynamics of fire attracts. Men can be attracted to the gospel without the fire. The flame of fire gives light. Men will be lost. 
without the fire of God in us to direct them, the heat of fire purifies and consumes. Let the fire of God in us purify and bring forth pure gold. Let it also consume every ungodliness and evil works. The world can't feel the heat of the fire of God if we are not carriers of that fire. We need the holy fire of God burning in our hearts. We must take heed lest we be consumed by the flames that you have born within us. O oh Lord, set our hearts on fire for you. Yeah.